I'm Ina Fried at CNETnews.com. Recently, we got a sneak peek at Microsoft's Surface Computing effort, basically a tabletop touch-sensitive computer that lets you move things around without a keyboard or mouse. We sat down with Mark Bolger, the company's director of marketing for the project, who showed us the product and took it through its paces. So wouldn't it be great to be able to just reach out and dip our finger in paint and be able to go to the surface and just press down and have it recognize my hand. I can do that uh, and have some fun by drawing some eyes and perhaps a mouth and a nose. The second thing about a surface computer is that not only can I have a single point of contact, but I can use all of my fingers. The third attribute of surface computing is that not only can I interact with the computer, but you can join me. And we so can we can both paint at the same time? We can both paint at the same time. We can have a multi-user experience. We can have dozens and dozens of points of contact. With a surface computer, we can recognize objects from the real world. So this is a paintbrush that we purchased at a, at a hardware store. I can dip it in paint as I would in the real world, and I can bring it to the canvas, and I can paint as if I am in the real world. We call that object recognition. And not only can we recognize objects uh, like paintbrushes, but we've invented a new uh, tagging system called domino tagging that it provides for millions of combinations. And we can tell the service computer how to react to that object. If I place it down on the service, I can have fun by having some uh, fun eyes here. But then I can go back instantly to the, the painting function, and you can see that I can have a great uh, multimedia experience. So painting is obviously a really fun use of this, probably not what's uh, going to sell what I imagine is a pretty expensive device. What are some of the applications you envision this being used for? You're exactly right. Painting allows us to show some of the attributes of uh, the Surface Computer, but let's show some uh, scenarios that uh, would be interesting to a variety of people. For instance, let's take a look at photos. What if I had a card that associates with content that I have on a server? I could simply place it down on the surface, and my files of photographs become available for me to just reach out and touch like I would in the real world. It blends the best of the physical and the digital worlds, I could reach out to this photo and move it across the table to you as I would in the real world. If I had a second, a third friend with us, we could all interact with our photos at once, reshaping them, sizing them, moving them across the table. Not only can you do this with photo content, but you have the ability to interact with d digital content in the form of video. So go ahead, Dina, and, and press that video. And it's fantastic that you can actually shape and resize that, and I can interact with another video at the same time or a photograph. One of the other uh, things that I know you guys have is an application that might be used in a restaurant or bar so that uh, your table becomes almost an interactive menu. Sure. So wouldn't it be great, instead of waiting to be able to just reach out with our hand and touch the surface of our table and have a menu brought up that uh, we, could, we could tap on and actually just browse through with our hand? And if we, we could actually take a look at a list of of menu items. If we found something that we liked based on the description or price, you could just simply drag it into the center to be able to place an order. I could have a loyalty card that I placed down onto the surface that would remember that I have a list of favorites that I could browse through on the spot. At that point, I could just place the order and it's sent right to the kitchen. Now, when our order comes to our table, uh, we could tag a glass in much the way we've tagged some other objects that I've shown you, and we can set that down on the surface. And perhaps if we had ordered some wine, it could bring up an image of the winery, the winemaker, uh, the particular vintages that are available, and maybe some pairings against the food that we just ordered. And you can see that you can actually interact with these visualizations. These bubbles actually move, which would provide for some interesting advertising and promotional opportunities over the course of time. But what if you were able to just place your payment method down on the surface, and all the items that we've ordered actually appear, and what you and I can do now is we can divide the bill accordingly, our bill is automatically calculated, and then we have the opportunity to actually use a tip calculator. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can leave a 34% tip. <laughs> and then just press pay, and you go. So you can see some of the possibilities uh, that service computing can provide now and in the future. For more video like this, go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.